With the newly released manual validation task, you can stop a YAML pipeline mid-stage and perform some manual or offline activities and then resume or reject the run. Let's see how to do this in the three minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Code Dave, where we talk about DevOps, especially with GitHub and Azure DevOps. Today we talk about the new manual validation step in the YAML pipelines in Azure DevOps. And this is a three minutes Friday, so you know the drill. Let's start the clock and get into it. As I've mentioned, you can use this new manual validation task to stop or pause a run of a YAML pipeline within a stage and then perform some manual validation or other action before resuming or rejecting the run itself. This is especially useful when you have to perform some actions or tasks that you cannot really fully automate, like for example, verifying a configuration or build packages and so on and so forth, before moving on to the next steps in your pipeline. When the manual activation task, activation, when the manual validation task is activated during a pipeline run, it shows a banner with a link that takes you to the manual validation dialog in which you can even have instructions for your users on what to do. And when those actions have been taken, you can either decide to resume the run and continue with the pipeline execution or to reject it. But let's see this in action. All right, here we are in Azure Pipelines. To add the manual validation task, you can either copy the YAML directly if you know it, or you can just search for manual in the marketplace over here. And be careful because you have two things coming out. But the first one is the one for the classic pipelines, so don't use it. And in fact, we have the second one here that is the one that actually works only for YAML. So if we click on it, we can see all the options. We can add notify users. You can have emails sent to your users or groups to notify them that they have to validate the deployment, the configurations, and so on and so forth. You can provide here some instructions on what their users have to do. And then you can decide if you want to reject or resume the run of the pipeline if the user don't take any action before the timeout expires. And funny enough, there is no field here for defining the timeout, but of course you have it in the YAML. I already have the YAML here. And as you can see, this is all you need. We have the timeout in minutes, in my case, 1440. And then we have the notify users, the instructions, as I mentioned before, and this can be whatever you need them to do, and what to do on timeout. One thing I need to mention here is that this manual validation task can be used only in agentless jobs. So you can see that in my case, I had to specify a job here with pool server, which means that this will not run on any agent, but will run on the Azure DevOps platform directly because my other jobs are all agents jobs. Remember that if you have a timeout specified in your task, like in this case, and then you want to have a timeout also in your job, the timeout of the job should be always higher than the timeout in the task if you want everything to work correctly. When you have a specific job for your manual validation task, you need to concatenate the other jobs uh, and especially the one that follows because it needs to depend on the previous job over here. Otherwise, this will run in parallel. So in my setup over here, I have this first job that does something. Then I kick off another job that just wait for the validation, for the external validation, and that has the manual validation task. And then if the user decide to resume because the validation has passed or the timeout has expired, there is this other job that depends again from this other one and proceed my pipeline. Let's run this and see how it works. As you can see, the first job has run successfully. And now the second one is in the running state because it's waiting for the manual validation. And in fact, we have this banner over here that let us know that the manual validation is needed. And we have this review button over here. When I click it, this panel appears with the instructions, as I've mentioned before, this is what you've specified in your task. And the user can either reject or resume with, of course, a command. Of course, if I click on resume, everything will proceed normally. But in this case, I want to leave a comment and reject the validation. So when I do so, you see that the manual validation is marked as failed. And if I click on it, I also know the reason why because it's the comment I written and also who did that, uh, who rejected. And you can see that the third job 
has been skipped because of course the validation has been rejected, so there's no point for the pipeline to continue. Remember that, as I've mentioned, you can use the new manual validation task only in serverless, serverless, only in agentless uh, jobs. Like in my example, if you have some other jobs that rely on agents, you would need to add to your stage in your YAML a new job with the uh, pool server so you can run this task. And we're done, let's stop the clock. I believe today I've stayed within a three minutes, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below because I'm interested in knowing what you think about this feature and if you have any use case for it. Also, you may wanna check this video over here in which I explain all the differences between the classic and the YAML pipelines for both build and release. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coded Dave.